Welcome to Sad Boys, a podcast about feelings and other things also. I'm Jarvis. And I'm Jordan. Were you just doing my line? I was doing it better too. Uh, be- okay, better. <laughs> For the audio listeners, Jarvis didn't say a word of that. I'm oh, kind of oh, like a puppeteer. <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. hand is in Jordan's ass. I'm, my other hand. You I'm a real see. boy. Yeah, yeah. I just make him yap. I I'm talking to myself as this podcast. I can't even do a 1% impression of you. Same. I think I have, and I've talked to you more than anyone else in my life on mic, and I'm not even close. I, I'm the same way, and I don't understand why. I don't. I haven't figured it out because I can't do you. I can do other people. And maybe that we know. We probably would scrutinize our impression of the other person more because we know the voice of the. It's other like person when you more. look into a mirror and uh, you see the reflection of yourself but that's what your own real version of yourself is and oh, then when sure. you see a photo of yourself you're like that looks <laughs> wrong yeah. what did you do yeah or you hear your own voice through like the the mm-hmm. uh, your own ear canals and you're like jaw, yep. jaw vibration and then that, you're like get rid of him remove the voice i'm still getting hmm, am i used to that i am used to it but it's like a third person like there's yeah. me in real life and in my own head and then there's like the me on camera and on record where i'm listening to it and i'm like oh okay that's Okay, yeah, that's what Jarvis sounds like. But yeah. that's not what I sound like to me. I'm not him. I'm sure if I listen back to like like one of our meetings or something, then mm. I feel like that's a little bit more maybe an organic version of me. But even right. I feel like uh, Sad Boys Jordan Jarvis is very different than Jarvis Johnson Gold Jarvis or Jordan Adika Channel Jordan. True, and, true. And for obvious reasons, it's a performance and it has a different function, but it's also like a – the cadence, the snap. Yeah, the, can you imagine if, if someone was performing a solo YouTube video during a podcast? <laughs> yeah. it, like, it would just be too, be like, shut up. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta make a joke. I gotta pause you. <laughs> yeah. Let's <laughs> do, do that one again. Yeah, let's run that back. I do wonder how many uh, other shows, uh, we, we'll, we'll, we'll do a cut here and there, but the cut is usually because we, uh, like, we're trying to remember something specific or... Uh, because we say like a real person's name or, <laughs> or, or you leak my address, address as you often do yeah, usually funny. I'm just cutting out of all of uh, Jordan's jokes yeah, um, uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> if you ever feel like I'm not funny or interesting on the show that's actually from the edit <laughs> Jacob secretly told Jordan that he needs more hours so Jordan adds 10 extra hours of throwing in things to take out of the edit <laughs> that's true actually yeah, I'm responsible for a lot of your income when I say that thing about those people. Mm-hmm. Don't, well, when you say it like that, it sounds like you're doing a hate crime. Look, <laughs> let's just say off mic, we both agreed that we you're were on, on the mic. same page. No, okay. no, we're not. But they are like that. Mm, so, I don't know who we're talking about. Say no more. I will say more. <laughs> I, I'm not on board. <laughs> and hey, I'm, I'm no part of this. Me neither. Oh, it seems like you're trying to wink, but are you okay? <laughs> Oh, but I, oh, I'm fine. You look like you've been like staring at screens for too long. Your <laughs> eyes start to twitch. What do you mean? <laughs> Dude, I hate that, that my like mom was right about yeah. spending too much time with screens. My eyes are getting weaker. My eyes twitch. My back hurts. I do play too many video games. You know, what's wild is one. I remember the first time my eye twitched, I was like, a teenager and playing RuneScape, and I remember going to the bathroom and looking, and I could just see like my eye like <laughs> throbbing, and I was like, "Oh no!" That's when the, you know you've mastered the wildy. Right, right. That's when I I really got my gamer cred. I was like, my eyes are failing. But then I got, uh, you know, I did this internship in like uh, college, started to get headaches because I was like staring at text on the screen all the time because I was like writing code, and then I got. Uh, my i went to an optometrist for the first time i got glasses um and they're mostly reading glasses because of the type of issue i have it's like with my focusing muscles where they like are weaker your muscles are weak and pathetic yeah they're weak and pathetic and so it's like i can overcompensate but it causes strain you, you, and so you, i have 20 20 vision do you ever wear contacts i do have contacts um but historically i never wore them i did wear them for a bit in 2021 i also feel like i remember us when we first worked together you wearing glasses more yeah i used to wear glasses more but what happened was that when i quit working in tech well first of all my optometrist was like you it's funny because what's wrong with your eyes would never have come up in any other generation 
Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. Sure. Like, because it's like only that you're staring at screens all day. Um, and I'm like, okay, nothing cool. was ever this close. Well, because, because it's <laughs> no, like, most okay, people didn't read. I have like 20, 20 vision, but it's that I'm overcompensating to get there and thus like tiring my eyes out. And ever since I quit working in tech, my eye strain issues have been so much less pronounced right. that even though I still stare at screens all day, I like don't always have to wear my glasses. I only wear my glasses when I'm, I can kind of feel it coming on mm. and then I'll be like, okay, let me pop on my glasses. And <laughs> yeah, you can see the eyes shaking. I'm going to do like, right. yeah, I'm about to do a staring <laughs> session at my phone, <laughs> uh, an extended scroll, so to speak. And that's when I'll bring out the glasses. But, um, I really want to make a very specific niche, like, runescape joke for mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. but yeah. a lot of the i already spent wildy yeah i already burned that token and everything else i know about runescape was so broad because it, it right. i was just playing no, no, it no. at the original time and haven't touched it since yeah because uh, i'm not a loser yeah, yeah that's fair don't take off my glasses <laughs> <laughs> i'm not a nerd i want to give a shout out to my misophonia heads in the audience my apologies for making mouth sounds i can't help it it's just what my mouth does but we are making attempts to address the issue. At, but when I do read the comments about it, it does feel like someone is has put on like special glasses where they can <laughs> see something that I can't see. I'll just be like, ah, oh, God, my ears, I can't with the sounds. And I'm like, please just give me a timestamp. I don't know. Like when I listen to it, I don't hear it the same way that you do. Is that when somebody's like uh, but looking? you're valid. You're valid 100%. It's just that uh you know we 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 try you know we're not out to get you we're not doing this on purpose we're oh. you know learning and growing and except for jordan he's out to get you let's just say maybe the patreon version <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, can that, you imagine that would be so fun and there's no other benefit at all that's like a, that's like america if you like uh <laughs> become rich and famous you no longer have to like uh, you have all these privileges like people don't treat you the same way Oh, it's like a subscription service that's very expensive. You get the uh, the privilege of um, not dying from a splinter. Or like the privilege a, of not dying from a splinter, from not going into horrible debt from some sort of medical emergency. It is uh, amazing the how the cops might recognize you and thus treat you differently. <laughs> and give you more time to run away from the bullet. Yeah. Before before shooting, going like, oh, I saw the, the black white thing. That was cool. Yeah. Nice. I learned nothing. <laughs> bang, 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 I, bang. I learned nothing. True. Uh. I, mean, I feel like bing, bing, bing. <laughs> <laughs> they should say that. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, did I, I, did I pitch you already on my idea of we just do one episode of Sad Boys where no matter the content of the show, the thumbnail is us both like running down the street and it's we stole a cop's gun. <laughs> Gone crazy. <laughs> I do think that's fun. Do they A B test? That's one of the yeah, options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we they let us A B test titles, then yeah, we just go wild. <laughs> There'll be a. It's like um, it's like opening a pack of Pokemon cards. There's a chance you get a rare, <laughs> a rare through. title and thumbnail. Ooh, I got a cop's gun. <laughs> Ooh. Um, which Brock's speaking gun. of, also speaking of, sometimes and oftentimes actually, you will see various thumbnails for the show because we use the A-B testing feature because we're still trying to learn like what elements of thumbnails make them most clickable and yada, yada, yada as we try to make things sustainable. I think that people like assume that whatever we put out, whatever way we put it out, it's going to be the same amount of success no matter what. Like people don't think about the, um, on the back end, we are like constantly trying to how do we make this relevant? How do we make it so that the algorithm shows it to our the people that want to see it? And it's a you know it's a war <laughs> that oh, we're indeed. fighting every day against the algorithm. The Thursday group chat. Thursday group chat is like the uh, it's like the forum in ancient Greece. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> what's going on? They're like I think I don't know enough about philosophy. Like I think we should have, skateboarding should be illegal. I don't know. Right. No more. Uh, no more Colosseum stuff. What if we just did like <laughs> cool tr tricks? I guess at some point someone did come in and went like, no more Colosseum stuff. Yeah. When did Colosseum stuff end? Because they still have it, but they don't. Yeah. It's do not. You can't. Sport. It's not on like SeatGeek right now. 
<laughs> you can't like book a the splash zone. Yeah, yo, dude, I got the fucking nosebleeds of the Coliseum. These <laughs> seats are ass, bro. It is. There's not even a there's not even a jumbotron <laughs> where I can see what's down there. It's weird to think that like at some point legally we just all have to go like I just not no more duels. Mm. We just can't do that now. The duels are that's. I know, actually. like we, you can't go to like um, Weehawken and like shoot Aaron Burr <laughs> or whatever, <laughs> or like Alexander Hamilton. Fan the hammer. <laughs> yeah, what was that about? In American history, there's a lot of like physical fights that break out in like the House and Senate. And it like affects people's political careers. Well, some of which because they die. Like, for example, Alexander Hamilton, mm. you know. Hugely much, impacted his career. Much, yeah, dying. The Much like um, the musical of the same name. Like, they went to this island in New Jersey and then like with a doctor, like you're going to like a boxing match and you've got like a coach <laughs> or something and you bring a gun and you guys just point your gun at one another and then Dude, you shoot. I th- I don't understand. What's the why, doctor going to do? It's, why don't, it's like the 1700s. Why doesn't every... I, that's how I want to go. Why doesn't everyone feel the same way? Yeah. Imagine. A duel. Like within the 2020s. Did you guys know that there's a Ridley Scott movie called The Last Duel? Yeah. With the... Uh, About when duels stopped. What? With, with Matt Damon and Adam Driver. Adam Driver? Yeah, it's very good and a little upset. It, yeah, it's kind of like a, a, a Rashomon type. The same story three ways. Who's telling the truth? And it's like, well, the one that's not lying. Um, <laughs> that, that for me, the last duel is about uh, when I was in middle school in a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. That's what and, it's about. And I brought my my deck and I I drew my last card and my last duel. And that, I said, it's time to play a different game. It's time to duel. And then that's it. Yeah. No more. And You're after played that. by Matt Damon. In oh, hell yeah. I'll take yeah, that. Which eh, kind of, I don't know. Weird should, 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 a little yeah, whitewashing. Yeah. It happens. Michael B. Jordan plays Adam Driver's character. Which oh, okay. Like, I like, see. Okay. Yeah. I, they, they, only Michael A. Jordan was available for me. <laughs> yeah, he's the white one. I, uh, <laughs> well, no, it's Michael Asian Jordan. Michael oh, Black Jordan. Right. <laughs> Michael Caucasian Jordan. <laughs> yeah. Michael <laughs> Black or Chinese Jordan. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of, uh, speaking of card games. Jordan, have you heard of MetaZoo? Um, uh, by name. Okay. It is a, it came out in 2020, like, oh. like in the beginning of the pandemic, really, as like a Kickstarter game that was like going to be a Pokemon killer was the type oh, of thing. must have succeeded. They, they basically started, <laughs> they started pretty strong. Instead of starting small, like we want to be a small, successful indie game and yep. maybe we go from there, we say, no, we're going to straight to the top. Pokemon still around or they get killed? Um, Let me check. Is Pokemon still... Oh, an email. Well, apparently they... Ooh, might, a lot of text from a doctor. doctor so. Saying some stuff about... Hmm. Ugh. It's getting a call to my Bluetooth uh, headset. I'm just going to ignore that. <laughs> we will not find out about Pokemon because there's too m- My phone is overheating with messages from my doctor <laughs> and your doctor. No, so, he actually is he's on vacation. Yeah, no. The, I, he he said It said from <laughs> from vacation. <laughs> oh, come Va- on. He had, he's like, hey, it's me. I'm in I'm in Kauai. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm on island time, but you are dying. Of yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. He's like, things are great over here, not so great for your butt. <laughs> He's a workaholic, man. Um, let me go grab something. Zip. <laughs> Whoa. You hear about bang, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe, yeah, flintlock pistol, I feel like, is what I want to go with. But I don't want to, my, my issue with the flintlock is that it's the single fire, and if it doesn't kill me instantly, I'm just like, if they hit me in like the hip. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, shit, ow. Do you know the story of um, the assassination of President McKinley? He was shot by a man named Sholgosh, who was a (laughs) anarchist guy. And McKinley lived for days afterwards with all these doctors just poking around being like, we can't (laughs) find the bullet. And this is like in the 1800s. So they like probably did more damage. He probably would have survived nowadays. That's such a funny idea that like, it's weird that we even called it medicine. 
for hundreds of years when oh, yeah. it could just be like the fact that you could be a doctor and wear a plague mask because your vision was so unimportant <laughs> like, it, it's also, just like i don't know also slug. the concept of bloodletting being a thing that like was like i don't know let's just uh, bleed you out and yeah. see if that helps i think that's what i would have figured out do you know what i mean like if right. you, if you if you introduced me to earth just day one you're like so we've got blood and mm -hmm. i don't feel very good like we should take it out. it's in there probably I yeah, think. probably just remove all of the parts of your body <laughs> and see hey, if you're still that? in pain. It's pulsing all the time. It's like a heart. Okay, so it's a yeah, it's your heart. Oh no! How do you know it was like a heart it's if you didn't know what a heart like was? Just like a heart. <laughs> <laughs> um. So this is these are MetaZoo cards. MetaZoo. Oh, you have the MetaZoo cards. Yeah, MetaZoo is based on like crypto cryptids, Ooh. like cryptozoology. Uh, you can grab some. I'll hold your mic. Um. Oh, this is kind of cool. Yeah. This killed Pokemon. Yeah, as far as we know. <laughs> also, Anastasia's here. That's the disembodied voice. Hi. All right, well, this one sounds like a slur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually really funny. <laughs> uh, if anybody is interested about my interest in Metazoo, I have my favorite, always have, of course. It is yeah. the uh, Beastie Deity Negafook. <laughs> <laughs> that's a... Uh, um, do you remember Fairly Odd Parents, the Crimson, Crimson Chin? Yeah. Have you seen? Do you know about his alter e evil alter ego? Oh, the Nega Chin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the way they say it in the clip is like the Nega Chin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. You'll all get your chance. The, the Crimson Chin. Wrong. <laughs> one more take, just uh, maybe we. Uh, hey, but should we do another take on that watch one? Watch that again. <laughs> the Nigatin. <laughs> so, what if he takes off the strip and it's an N? <laughs> like, so, funny. whoa. I mean, it should be an N. It but should they, be an N. But they instead put a cancel sign over the the C for Chin. That's what happens when you say his name these days. Dude. Oh man, such agendas. a funny, <laughs> such a funny thing. Modern day. Um, so MetaZoo. Uh, so the issue with MetaZoo is that it was purported. You know, they kind of did this FOMO based marketing technique where they would release all these special sets and there's like first editions of the sets and there's kickstarter editions if you're a backer like to the point where like the kickstarter booster boxes of metazoo like the very first set available were going for like twenty thousand dollars and being bought yeah mm -hmm. and so what people started to view it as especially the way people would talk about it is that like People invest in cards for better or for worse. And they're always looking for the next thing. And sure. then also, if you think about like NFTs, there's all this like FOMO thing where you got to get into the new NFT thing because that, or the new crypto or whatever the fuck, because that's how you're going to make money. Do you remember when you didn't last time and it went straight it, to the moon? And it went straight to the moon. And, uh, and so that sort of psychology was happening around this, where like just countless YouTube channels are talking about investing in MetaZoo and then some sort of big, some sort, some bigger channels. I think like Logan Paul, you know, did a little bit of MetaZoo stuff. Um, the Meta something of a guru, actually. Yeah, collectibles guru. Uh, Meta MetaZoo creator actually DM'd me on Instagram once and like offered to send me product, and uh, never followed up. And that's this was many years ago, uh, but the news is that. Uh, uh, announced yesterday MetaZoo is ceasing operations. Oh. And the thing about MetaZoo is that none of it ever made sense because it's like, it's like an NFT doesn't make sense mm -hmm. because no one's playing the game. Sure. No one's playing the game. No one cares about the game. It's mostly viewed as an asset by people who have it. And so who's to decide if it has value, right? Like similar, like when people stop deciding that bored apes are worth millions of dollars, sure. then the whole economy of it crashes. Well, it's because like uh, if you start from a place of cynic cynicism and like cynical profit, you probably aren't the kind of person that knows why people like things. Like you probably don't understand why people like art. So you, it happened, there was a, I mean, one of the bigger comics crashes was the result of people or like Marvel DC, DC especially realizing that, hey, 
people are buying and selling these collectible comics. Mm-hmm. Like uh, Action Comics number one is selling through the roof. Yeah. We should start making comics that would be collectible worthy. Mm-hmm. Which is why there was so much stuff like Death of Superman and then a long running death, post Death of Superman, Death of Superman type story. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, if I feel like any adult with critical thinking would go like, but if everyone, if all of it's collectible, yeah, if every dollar bill is a hundred, mm-hmm. <laughs> isn't it all just now one? Like it's yeah. such an obvious. And problem. then all of those comics from that era are not worth anything. (laughs) The majority of them are not worth anything because they were like mass produced to all hell. And And they resell them all the time. Like 16th print of Death of Superman. Oh, hell yeah. Wouldn't that be crazy, guys? Yeah. And so... He's dead. Very similar economics happening here. And also all of the expensive sales for MetaZoo were happening on the secondary market. So like, you know, it's like MetaZoo isn't making money when one of their boxes sells for $20,000 because they're not the... They're not eBay. And so... Were they still doing stuff up until now? Like, like doing li- new releases? Yeah, what? they just did. Well, so that's the issue, is that people, the people buying their new product, again, things like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! have a player base, and they also have now two decades of nostalgia, and like they've just been going and going and going. Um, and so the machine is already running, but... There's no IP, like the MetaZoo IP is just the cards. Even Magic the Gathering is still going and it's going strong, depending on who you ask, but like the player community is going strong. Sure. And the- uh, If Bored Apes was a MMO that we played when we were five. Exactly. <laughs> might have some cash out. That's the thing. Or like the dead Naruto game, like there was a Naruto collectible card game that still is like pricey or the the dead Dragon Ball game before the uh, Dragon Ball Super stuff. Um, came out that those still command value because it's a huge IP that has a lot of fans. And so the overlap between fans of CCGs and you, there, there's just something, but MetaZoo never had any of that and never had any players. And it just all felt like this um, bubble. Yeah. And, and the bubble essentially popped. Uh, they did this, they did this. That's the thing about bubbles, isn't it? Mm. I feel like if I was investing heavily in a, bubble cottage industry or something yeah. like, bubbles getting pretty big yeah what happens when they get really they get they, they're they fine <laughs> yeah. yeah i mean similar <laughs> thing happened with like graded video games it's like video games is a collectible sure uh but the issue was that people were basically kind of doing insider sales to do, to kind of get media like it would be like buy like i buy a um uh, a, a Mario, like I buy Mario three, I then I buy it sealed somewhere for a hundred dollars. Okay, that seems reasonable. It's an old game sealed. That's cool. Then I get it graded. I get it encased. I get it um, uh, uh, appraised and say it's in a high condition. And then I have you as Hi. an investor say Hi. that looks pretty valuable. I'm gonna buy it for five hundred thousand dollars. Then I the, say that, yeah. Uh, I, who am I? You, you, you're Jesus. Lo- you lost. Yeah, you're Jesus. Oh, hey, what's I'm, going I on? I got 500k over here. Hey, you fucking modded me. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna fucking believe. And, and now all I got is a Skrilla. <laughs> um, <laughs> me. <laughs> so then you buy it. You, my friend, buy it for five hundred thousand dollars. Then a news story comes out saying, old copy of Super Mario sold for five hundred thousand dollars. And then people go, oh, my Super Mario thing is worth money. <laughs> and then that cycle is kind of right, yeah. like, and so that happened with video games where like the values of sealed video games were like way up here. And then, but then there's no sort of how rare these things actually, like. Who bu- was buying it and from? Who was, what was buying their relationship them and who's with buying them? them from who? And then when there starts to be doubt, that bubble, like, oh, okay, maybe these things are coming back down to a realistic value. And it's like, no one's saying that they don't have value, but when they go from like this c- completely nothing to just these astronomical numbers, that's kind of what happened with MetaZoo. And at the end of the day, no one was buying the game for real. And they, um, other than people who would buy it and hold it, and... Uh, they did like a collab with Hello Kitty oh, recently sick. and it like completely tanked and like Whoa. didn't sell. Whoa, that's a, wow. Failing in, at that I know. Is a little well, weird. it's just, that's the thing. Losing it's a like, foot race with Usain Bolt. 
it's a thing where like um there was just nobody really in like there's no true fans and so the people buying it were like collectors but like collectors can only prop up the thing so much and so i think there's like room uh, basically as, as far as what happened there's just rumor mill right now people are saying they owe the like Hello Kitty parent company a lot of money for like the licensing fees that are unpaid. They were doing a bad She's job. She's ruthless. At, fucking, yeah, she will. Uh, goodbye, Kitty. She, you know what I'm saying? She says that kind of goth one to break your kneecaps. Yeah, that's what they're. That's what her shooters say before they kill you. <laughs> goodbye. Hey, the kitty says goodbye. <laughs> um, hey, motion, motion. <laughs> Uh, hey, John, hey. <laughs> sayonara, so to speak. <laughs> wow, this guy's traveled. <laughs> this yeah. is a very traveled mafioso. So now all the prices of it. I bought these at Target, by the way, because <laughs> I was when at you, I was at Target the other day. Just like this week. Yeah, or? yeah, because they, they were sold in big box stores. So I was like, wow, Metazoo's getting kind of mainstream. <laughs> like I literally texted Curtis last week, and I was like, dude, look, there's Metazoo at Target. And I was like, should I get? Should I buy these? Just to, like open them because I'd never opened the Metazoo cards before because I. Thought it was a huge, like, kind of pump and dump. Yeah. Um, and little did you know. I know, that, that was you, the thing. It just kind of felt like it just came out of nowhere and everybody was, like, putting it next to Pokemon. And I'm like, what do you mean? You were like, this will never kill Pokemon. And then you spitting it's your like cereal in, out. It's like in Rick and Morty where there's Mr. Poopy Butthole or was it? Yeah, where like Mr. Poopy Butthole was like there through the, up oh, all of their yeah, stories, like, and they're like, "Remember all of our <laughs> memories?" Like, because people started to put MetaZoo next to Pokemon, and they'd be like, "Yeah, MetaZoo, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!" And it's like, "How did MetaZoo get mm-hmm. here?" It's when like, the, remember when we were kids on the playground and we were all passing around Mothman? Oh yeah, dude, those obvious bots where like uh, a new Ghostbusters will come out, and a bot that is playing a like 19 year old on Twitter will be like oh, butterfly tears remembering the first time I saw Ghostbusters in the theater like a decade before I was born I know so <laughs> so like wow god do you guys remember MetaZoo I've always loved playing it so, so so it is one of those things where people are calling it like a like a real life pump and dump because I'm sure a lot of people I I it it seems that the people uh at the top probably did not like lose out on this the real losers are probably going to be the people who are holding oh oh and me yeah i'm i'm the real loser because i spent 12.99 at target you did go to target yeah (laughs) you did buy them from target i did buy them from target for 12.99 mind you maybe we should go nuts you know i should have known that um that the this was going to happen because i i pulled out some like hollow cards and i was like oh these are cool i wonder if there's like values associated with these cards and these aren't first edition uh and i could not find a person even selling oh, right. a yeah. single one of those cards in non-first edition and i was like oh so everyone's selling first edition but like there's not even a single person even listing non-first edition interesting um but yeah so that's I, that's funny uh it's just like overlaps with my you know it's like i collect pokemon cards and stuff and i don't need them to be worth any money to be happy you know it's like something i just genuinely enjoy and if they're worth zero dollars i still have my cardboard and sure. it makes me happy but but this now you're almost free from even getting it checked or being appraised this is like uh, it's just this so is like funny. when plans get canceled and you're like well i kind of want to go to the party but oof, i know it's just to like, myself nothing to do it's so it's so interesting i'm curious what's going to happen because i feel like um there's got to be millions and millions of dollars worth of product that will just like never be sold. Apparently another one of the things in the rumor mill is that the like Chinese uh, printer printer of these cards, they're high quality mm-hmm. cards. Like I'm, I was Seems impressed. Like a real card, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, they apparently like owe them money and stuff. Ooh. And I'm like, Oh yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, that's, that's a fun happening in the corner of things I pay attention to. That's I hope, I mean, I, I know it's, you know, a vague, I mean, it's a company, but I assume it's relatively small. I mean, that was humble beginnings or whatever, right? Yeah. I hope that the people are doing all right. Generally. Yeah. As far as I know, it's st- stayed a small operation. What I hope is that they were able to run away with a bunch of money and, and that people that contributed to the bubble are screwed over permanently and unable to continue their quality of life. And See, that's the thing. It's like everything falls apart for them. I think it's like one of the situations where I'm sure that there are like, 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 um, normal employees that are not yeah. founders that are probably like screwed over. Um, so I hope those people land on their feet. Um, much like I hope the people who were recently laid off in all of the Ugh. layoffs that are happening in the games world and in the tech world, it's just like it never ends. being laid off than have ever played games. Yeah. It is it, it crazy. It, yeah, anyway. I'm so... It's funny now. I feel, I feel like I'm so cynical about any time I see, uh, well, the word 
Meta or Zoo now. As soon as I saw that, I genuinely 100% was like, oh, it's, is it like Jake Paul this time? <laughs> he like launched a thing. I mean, and... it does have a name that sounds like a crypto scam, yeah. which is like given what happened kind of feels very similar. Yeah, like glum monkey, <laughs> dull, dull ape, ape, ape. Yeah, f fancy penguins. <laughs> Dude, we can... uh, Cool, <laughs> cool cats. It, I, It's so crazy that people got behind. Jacob, Google cool cats NFT. Google cool cat. I'm literally Derek just, let's Savage. find out if someone used that. No. Oh. oh, there it is on OpenSea. The cool cats homepage. That's so fucking funny, dude. Go ahead, buy all of them. Um, it's a collection of 9,999 of them. Randomly generated. Let's check those. How much is it? I don't know what Ethereum is, like how much that is. Uh, point nine. That's like two thousand dollars. Yeah, well, but it's like, well, wait. Cool. What is the price of Ethereum now? I actually don't know what the price of Ethereum is. Uh, what's the price of a cool cat? Yeah, chicken ninety-eight ethanol. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Twenty-three hundred dollars like for uh, and refresh me. Which one was that? That was the. Uh, that was the. Neat. Very cool. I'm just wondering, but the thing is, I don't. It's got like a oh yeah, right last now. sale was one. But the thing is, it's possible that someone bought these or sold them and then like they've just been sitting ever Wait. since but i don't know order 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 uh price high to low but its last sale was 8.9 eth so its last sale was like 20 grand wait do, uh, do the high to low uh yeah 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 good lord <laughs> what <laughs> that's deranged what for some new grounds ass. Last sale, one hundred and ten to so like two hundred grand. That's so. I mean, but I mean, hey, this it is, is expense. I can't act like I'm surprised because this is all. I mean, I hope all these people somehow make make out like bandit. I don't care. I don't <laughs> care. Let's. How much these people make out? All right, let's just kiss. That's the final episode. Um, Ben Shapiro. Oh yes, people, and people that made me happy. The man of the people, Tom old, McDonald old had a McDonald, farm. McDonald, baby. They made a song. Uh, so for those who don't know, Tom McDonald worth worth a look up. Um, one of the one of my favorite grifters follows a different. You know, if um, Ben is fact type, then uh, Tom McDonald is hog type. He's. Loud type. He's like a Canadian. He's a Canadian Amerabu. It is. Yeah, he's got the Stephen Crowder issue, but he like presents himself almost the exact opposite way. Stephen Crowder does like Nathan Drake cosplay, has a gun belt, but can't buy a gun, which is so funny. You, you know, like Stephen Crowder's always wearing his Nathan Drake gun like yeah, yeah. holster. He can't have a gun. That's he is Canadian. So crazy. I didn't know that we didn't let Canadians have guns. They can't have mine. Yeah. Ain't nobody taking Don't you can take my gun. <laughs> um the that's very funny. But I found out about Tom McDonald because he had a he had a TikTok about how people are too offended these days or something like that. And, and I and hey, look, I, broken clocks right twice a I, day, bro. I you made, know what I'm saying? I made a gold video about it and I didn't know that he was as popular as he was. Uh, and then I also like roasted some of his music i was just like eye rolling the entire time and and normally we wouldn't want to encourage a platform people like this but i, I do genuinely recommend people watch uh white boy for example his first breakout single well i where he hangs out in adult school i <laughs> found out that he had like real actual fans because people were like huh you you just don't understand, man. He actually has a really good message i'm like does he yeah this lyric where he's saying that actually it's if white people are racist then that means all muslims are terrorists yeah that's his arm um, actually in this new song that he's in done. the new song the new yeah song, which is uh, yeah, reminder so, the facts don't care about your feelings it, and that's it, the name of the song facts facts uh yeah quickie summary to people tom mcdonald is a man that farm. Like five i can't <laughs> stop sorry every time <laughs> say, uh, say tom mcdonald again tom right 
Do, no. Had a farm. No. E-I-E-I-O. Your nose is bleeding. You can't stop. And on his farm, he had a gun. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no. You're you Canadian. Can't you can't have that. <laughs> We're going to take it back. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he's just he's a little Ameribu guy in the style of Stephen Crowder, except for the fact that instead of doing toothless, dull, annoying debates with people that are busy and trying to go somewhere, um, they, you know, they take up their airport as he yells like, hey, did you think women are actually, they mm-hmm, suck, actually. Mm-hmm. And they go, like, okay, yeah, man. Um, and he has to edit around it. Instead, this guy makes sub mid music. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say mid, insulting, but not enough. But also, it's relatively well produced. Is the content of the song which doesn't hit. One thing he did do that was kind of funny is his beef with uh, uh, Matt, Maddie raps like old, old school like epic rap battle era. Matt Matt. Leith, Mac Lethal. Oh, Mac Lethal. Yeah, I remember Mac Lethal. He did the like, eight, like eighteen styles of rap. He, he, he's lyrical like, miracle. Yeah, like, he's yeah. like, I'm gonna show you, and he's like, got crazy crisp on his mic where mm. it's just like, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the man. I'm the man with the plan. Yeah, that kind of and serious. I'm a lyrical miracle. It's an awfully hard miracle diab- diabolical. <laughs> but these. Uh, it's 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 not as interesting as the cringy one we're going to to get into, but this was genuinely a pretty biting mm. diss track. I don't mm. even really understand the origins of the conflict. It's not nearly neither of them were interesting enough to me to, to get into it in detail, but it was pretty. He kind of he kind of popped him on that one. It's the one good or impressive piece of work he's put out. Other than that, his grift is yelling about a kind of base feeling that people have, kind of dog whistling like. Hey, you guys feel like there's a white genocide going on? And then as soon as you like walk over and you go like, hey, that's not, he goes, well, the, it's my, there's, I've got a bunch of friends that are n- n- black, uh, black friends too as well. Actually. Yeah, his stuff is, I mean, the Both stuff I've seen. people are good. Yeah, he's just like, actually, they wake up, sheeple. They don't want <laughs> you to know the stuff I know. And I'm just telling it like it is. And then when you read the comments, which I did, because I was trying to figure out why people were mad at me. Uh, the well, there's one reason. A lot of the comments. <laughs> a lot of the we started playing this game on stream where it was. Uh, <laughs> we would search for the phrase. I don't usually like rap music. Yeah. His audience is full of like. I'm 65 and I don't know too much about this hip hop stuff, but wow, your message really spoke to me and I'm going to have my kids listen to this. There's some of this hibbity hop tends to scare me a little bit, but <laughs> the stuff you're putting here, I take the C away from rap that I'd put in front of it originally. Yeah, I actually, um, I think I see you, you're achieving what hip hop always <laughs> aimed to achieve, but never did. And there's something about, about you that I can't quite put my finger off brother you and me both red-blooded americans and me here in my uh rip off oakley's with spelled with like two e's in my pickup truck that's never <laughs> held any Oak, lumber oakley like rockley from yeah. naruto <laughs> my, my fake oakley's looking directly into my frame with, uh, and it's reflecting into my glasses and you can see that i'm on like a, a, a just a iPhone so old you didn't know they still could even have that or charge it. <laughs> and I, I'm here to tell you that you're inside about how black people make me feel uncomfortable intuitively, but I don't know, it's because of uh, tattoos or But something. you also don't see color or race, and I but don't either, because, it. and that's the right way to do things. And actually also when I was, it's so, it, dude, he's just, it's almost like parody, because he he's a capital G grifter, like classic, does not believe any of the things, not even is exaggerating belief, middling career in music, middling career in wrestling until he starts, he, he takes his, um, right. he's a man, by the way, which is funny, it doesn't matter, he's like five foot tall, but <laughs> he, who goes, you know, short, short pulp, not king, he does not, we support short kings, but not this one, uh, he's a short jester, <laughs> there is no relationship between the brand that he's trying to do visually and the ideas that he's putting forward because to play to this new base that he has that he could always tout as with a number one song selling on itunes right now every time he drops a new thing and it's because you know 60 people use itunes yeah and yeah. every single one of them same with that um rich men north of richmond song or whatever oh yeah yeah but he is <laughs> he is tatted up including uh 
hog, I believe, is on his chin, which stands for hangover gang. He's now sober, by the way. He got that at the time where him and his friends were edgy, crazy, fun time. Um, and But his whole thing is like, I'm not a thug like these black guys, but also uh, I've got tattoos on my thighs. And look, <laughs> you know, blue lives matter. Yeah, there is hog. I remember not knowing what that said. I remember, it was, I, was, I said, does it say hob? <laughs> <laughs> um, like a goblin. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we're hobgobs. Shout out to RuneScape. Um, what is that? Oh my God, look at this. Oh, politically correct? Not, it's nega politically yeah. correct. <laughs> Dude, he's the nega, he is the nega politically correct. Um, okay, uh, also before we get into this, the accent where you were doing like the, southern guy mm -hmm. uh this weekend we were playing pokemon go and it was like the ho-oh weekend shadow ho-oh weekend and i got to santa monica before anybody else and i was sitting on a park bench and a man came up to me and is an older white dude uh and he goes you know i got a question for you because you're doing what i'm doing and i was like huh and he I look at his phone and it's got Pokemon Go on it. And he goes, that's awesome. Where do you find Ho Ho? <laughs> oh, that's so sick. And it was like, this is actually the most sweet moment ever. So I walked with this dude for like a block and explained some stuff about the event. He was like, my family didn't want to come with me. So I just came out here myself <laughs> from Tustin. Whoa. Which is not that far away. Yeah, that's uh, fun. It's like a, yeah, but Taking a little trip to, to the to the, to, to the Santa Monica. Baby, but yeah, I, it was so sweet. So shout out to that guy. Never got his name. Hope he caught a shiny shadow. Uh -oh. Maybe he's in this video. Um, He would never. He... he... Too honorable. Yeah. I mean, it, it, we, we should say Tom McDonald's greatest crime, in my opinion, because plenty everyone's a fucking drifter in this in this political sphere, right? Sure. His greatest crime is how incredibly fucking corny he is. He's so. I mean, that's always been my obsession with him. Is just he's very corny. It's so embarrassing. He takes himself so seriously. Presents himself with like this. I mean, even this photo is so funny. Yeah, this is something with I an incredibly clean airsoft pistol he clearly just bought. Uh, so number one corny rapper. Finally, has developed some clout that I can get behind by introducing um, hip hop scientist, my favorite other munchkin of the internet. <laughs> uh, Someone who famously hates rap music. Hates rap music, thinks that it is in its essence a dangerous thing, and also would say, you know, anybody that presents himself kind of, you know, a little thug, maybe, maybe has some of the thug elements of Tom McDonald is a dangerous thing. <laughs> the way they've airbrushed this cover is crazy. It looks like The Last of Us. <laughs> Dude, it, this looks like one of those fan-made posters for a movie that's been announced, but there's no trailer yet. Oh my God. The, uh, also, doesn't Ben Shapiro have that famous uh, quote where God, he's like, if you think rap music is real music, then you're wrong. Mm -hmm. That's facts, you see. Yeah, I see. The Tom McDonald X Ben Shapiro, Hunter, Punter. Uh, let's let's go pull up pull up the trailer. But I do I do acknowledge that Tom McDonald has very real fans, which is oh, um, yeah. which is rare for these spaces. Yeah, not not inflated or or I don't explicitly think, paid for. I it's, don't think they're yeah like it's. I think oftentimes people you know overinflate their numbers, but I genuinely his stuff gets really good engagement. I look man, I think there is a uh, I think there's a tendency for you know, discoursey stuff online to maybe lose itself a little bit too much in like the quality of something. Like, hey, the Daily Wire movies suck. Look how poorly they're made. And it's like, well, they're poorly made because the people behind them aren't talented and they're stupid. Yeah. And nobody with like talent or commitment or willingness to work hard would share the ideology of the Daily Wire so wouldn't be able to bring their talents to it. But Tom McDonald, not a particularly talented technical lyricist rapper anything like that but he he is like you know serving a pretty generic package like what he's putting out is like pretty palatable it's not like weird all yeah shit. but it gets to mask itself as counterculture right and people that are just there's nothing wrong with feeling like there's something off about life there is you, 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 Americans are being the world, but Americans in this particular case slash Canadians are being screwed over. Yeah. But it's not by people saying, please stop shooting teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> this is bad, actually. What all like, hey, I don't know, maybe don't get mad at like a 
please stop asking my child what their genitals are. That would like, like, right. stop asking to see my child's penis. Uh, also, and I'm sorry, we haven't gotten to it yet. Can you hit escape real quick, Jacob? Scroll, scroll a little bit down on the sidebar. First video on the sidebar. We don't have to click it. Dear Ooh. Slim produced by Eminem. No, it fucking wasn't. Mm. Unless you just took the stand. Wait, can you actually, can you click produced. on it? What's the beat? Oh, he might've just bought an Eminem beat. Produced. Cause you can do that. Dear Slim, I thought you might have heard of me, maybe. Cause lately, everywhere I turn, someone's comparing us crazy. I never would have thought when I was bumping Biggie and Pac. Oh, beat produced by Marshall yeah, Mathers. It, it's crazy how much of his material is now. just saying the same shit over and over. It's telling you that he says shit. That's Not saying it. That's, <laughs> and it's like, I feel like when Eminem did that, it would be in the same song where he said something yeah. extremely <laughs> offensive. <laughs> or it's like you could not argue whether or not it was offensive. Like, it's like look dear, at dear Slim, you've, pro you've probably heard of me by now because people compare us. What universe do you what? live on? Because you are white, I guess that is. Um, it. Tom bought it, bought it himself with a bid of one hundred thousand dollars from an auction. That is so sad. That's a, what a bummer. Because it's like I have no problem with people paying for beats and stuff like that. That's just how the business works. But but he literally like, you know, he bought it just so that he could make it about idolizing Eminem. Just that honestly bums me out. Uh, wait. Yeah, that legitimately makes me feel bad. Uh, can you go to Dear Slim Genius lyrics? Because uh, I just want to read the lyrics in case um, we can't we get claimed for the song. And first of all, he's a genius, so he'll be on there. Oh, dude, I, I pulled. I have the genius pulled up on my phone for the new track. Yeah, and every single Ben Shapiro line has been annotated by someone being like, "Here's what this is." Thank you. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm an okay. adult. Thanks. So he goes. Dear Slim, I thought you might have heard of me, maybe, because lately everywhere I turn, someone's comparing us crazy. Come on, dude. It's funny how I uh, already knew. I like I knew his flow. Okay. Comparing us crazy. Comparing us crazy. I never thought. I never would have thought when I was bumping Biggie and Pac that I would buy bleach in a box and become a product of Shady. Oh, because he bl bleach blinded his hair. Oh, but I'm but he here never now. Never would have thought that. Hi, my name is Tom McDonald. People call me controversial. I'm the one that counterculture follows. That is false. Dude, counterculture. That is absolutely no counterculture follow. It's very much monoculture that, that follows yeah. him. Brother, who is more counterculture to mainstream America than mainstream Canada? <laughs> That's pretty fucking counterculture. Every dude. song I drop's a problem. It's funny how they've... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like They're it's, like, oh, he's doing a little slang here. He is... It's self-conscious in a way. It's like... Uh, like 30 Rock, really, really dense jokes of, of, in the script because they're competent enough to make all the jokes really strong. Lil Wayne does a lot of internal arms because he's talented enough to make them really strong. If it's just like, this feels more like someone that uh, when they tell a joke, like, you know, stand ups, so they'll go like, and that's when my wife said, hi, uh, they do that because they're self conscious about yeah, not getting yeah. a laugh or something. It's like, I haven't done anything substantial yeah i'll just do more of it i can't take any pauses i can't slow down i'm Can, saying words i offend an awful lot with topics mm. commenting on race and politics i'm pretty awesome that's so cool Here, okay this is great i haven't heard this part but the next lyric is dear slim i know we're very different politically seems like some of your biggest fans are the victims i'm triggering okay which is saying something, by the way, but uh, <laughs> nothing they're, specific. They're convinced some of them. I don't like you, which ain't consistent with history. I was picked on as a kid and they don't know what Slim did for me, but I'm here now and I fight this system just like you. Yeah, okay, yeah. it's not, I don't think you're fighting the same system. Um, <laughs> you imagine if uh, Shady had dropped a track in like Encore era that was just like. Uh, instead of being like, hey, I'm going to like prove myself and become a part of the mainstream rap community and like prove myself to the to the, the masses of the gate, to the OGs. Instead, he was just like, stop being mean to me because I'm white. It's actually good. Yeah, I mean, he does kind of make some of those. They're, okay. He makes tricks about it. Yeah, there's a few lines like that, but they're, they're I think, more tastefully done. And they're clever. Yeah, they're and clever. They're, it, instead, this is just, I mean, just like how he's referencing saying he says some stuff, but isn't saying it in this song. 
he's just referencing like, yeah, I like yeah, some of the, you know, the victims, whoever, not, not specific. People claim that you hate me, but Marshall, that can't be right, dude. You'd have to hate yourself as well, because Marshall, I'm you. Oh, he, <laughs> sorry, I just realized, yeah. Uh, <laughs> three of the last four lines end with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's trash. <laughs> it, actually, two of them are just like you, but yeah. I think that's fine because I believe in internal rhyme, but I just don't think that's what's happening here. Well, there's not, there's not like a, look, I mean, the, yeah, there's no stringent rules to any art, right? But this is, there's no fucking punch. There's no reason that this is a, uh, uh, there's no like thematic link between these. Like, yeah. he's just if, saying the thing again. If Eminem who had written these lines, the internal rhyme would be insane between these two things. And they would also like, you know, mean multiple things. Um, Marshall, remember back when you became Eminem, you changed the world with a pen. Well, now I'm just like yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> changed the world, dude. Well, this should be called Dear Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Please come no, back. Notice, People say that you hate me. me, Dad. Um, You'd have to hate yourself as well. I'm your son. Notice me, Simpai. The song. I don't give. I don't give a what saying what I. Okay, mm. that. Please tell me, God. That's the f word. <laughs> that's this, fuck. This is uh, like every hook he does. I it's don't give always, a what. Na 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 na. It's always some like shitty royalty free style, just like. No, 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 backing. Everybody like, triggered and they think I suck. Why do they say that so Oh, much, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't really swear to, which is... Oh. I mean, he, he has, but there is this weird... You can see it as his grift increases his... Uh, That's fast. This What a fascinating... Dear Slim, I thought that maybe because you paved the way for me... He did it for you. He doesn't care about you, dog. You might relate to weight that Caucasian rappers are carrying. Oh. Yeah, man. They're constantly comparing us to you. It's embarrassing. Because <laughs> we're sure we suck. I feel like even Asher Roth has a better song about being compared to Eminem than this. Well, yeah, I mean, because it, it isn't just saying like, people are being, this is a song about how people are being mean. Can you please come help me? <laughs> but everyone's bullying me. I'm not going to prove them wrong. They're definitely bullying me, by the way, because of uh, the, because I'm triggering them. It's not the quality of my work. They actually like that. This is actually wild call me culture vulture garbage those are ignorant words i kill a vulture cook the poultry in a pan till it's burned what, <laughs> I, what? this huh? doesn't go anywhere though you like you it's just it's just word it's like wordplay that doesn't actually establish like any meaning see see marshall i'm just like you i'm flipping the bird oh right and what is but what's the vulture here again yeah, it's like, notice that none of this is annotated. Yeah, know, <laughs> but like, also, I'm like, the only thing I can- say, like, a poultry is a bird. <laughs> that's the only yeah, thing. Poultry is, yeah, that's actually very funny. I'm flipping the bird. I feel like this has to be a reference to the real Slim Shady. Uh, but, but, like, <laughs> dear Slim, I just want to give you your flowers. I spent hours memorizing all your songs in 2000. You were the reason I screamed at all my teachers, a teen. This is actually embarrassing. Uh, Holy shit. Do you think that's like a, wait, do you think that's a typo? Does he really say at all my teachers a teen? Maybe as a teen? You were the that's, reason I screamed at all my teachers as a teen. Yeah, that would li line up with his like, um, with his fucking uh, reading aloud for the class flow. This is embarrassing though. I'm here now. They call me controversial just like you. We're both white, both rap, both our eyes blue. Yeah, cool, man. It's like a love letter. Yeah. <laughs> I feel this like is, this didn't be like public. This is creepier than Stan. <laughs> this is like yeah, way is more intimate <laughs> than Stan. <laughs> this is actually, what's crazy is Eminem wrote Stan about people like this know, and he dude. missed it. He missed the point. Yeah, it, it, even in the music video, he's like doing that and it's like his the message. Wait, there is an annotation in a... Crypt YouTube reaction, he breaks this line down. Oh, nice. Vulture cooked the poultry. The poultry is chicken or birds, and he's flipping the bird. He's flipping the bird in the pan. Look. Right, yeah. Nice. He's flipping the rhyme scheme. Okay. He's, he's, he's saying, hey, hey, screw you. 
<laughs> I'm not a culture vulture, actually. It's so funny. I, I just don't so think- Nobody calls him a culture vulture. That's no. not the thing. People call Drake a culture vulture. <laughs> Dude, uh, you don't have any culture, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> You're Canadian. <laughs> he admits in the song, I dropped 100 grand to get a beat from Shady. Oof. Don't admit it. Whether you love or hate me, you think I'm crazy. Dropped 100 grand to get a beat from Shady. I really hope when I bought it, he wasn't angry. <laughs> I but thought, I had to tell him that he changed me. Okay. <laughs> the truth of the matter is without you, Marshall Mathers. Okay. All right. This is this is too stand. This is too stand. This is it's the whole song is the last letter he sends. It's in the car with his girlfriend in the truck just writing the yeah, like yeah, from yeah. the beginning. There's just never a situation where the right response to people pushing back against your work is to go like uh, it's you're do you're getting mad at me. This is this is Matt Rife yelling at a five year old. On, it's on, so on funny because people did protest Eminem one uh, for valid reasons, but then also it was at a time when that wasn't like a cultural thing where there yeah. wasn't cancel culture. It was like people were actually like picketing Eminem. And it's different Eminem when, shows and when stuff. you're doing fan fiction, it's different. Yeah, when you yeah. are a Elvis cover act, yeah, yeah. you don't get to like, to, people don't come to you and go like, hey, you Elvis, stole I'm rock and Elvis, I'm just like you. <laughs> I'm just like you, dude. People are mad at me. They, they say I'm not nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> I'm just like you, you see. Hello? <laughs> Here's another letter, please. Cool guy though, um, neat. But uh, new track does feature Benny Schwa. Oh man, I can't think, now I just keep thinking about how much rhyming is in Stan, the song, and how much rhyming wasn't in that song. And how much just, that was, I mean, the, well, it, you can tell with that, it kind of basically just was the letter. Do you yeah. know what I mean? There wasn't really, you could just break it up, take away the rhythm a little bit, and I'm like, okay, this is all very literal. Like you're just saying the thing that was the case. No metaphor, Ugh. allegory, no nothing. Dude, yeah. Because it's too, like, hard. I'm not, like, literally, I just thought of a line from Stan where, where he's like, uh, I'm really honored you would call your daughter that, and here's an autograph of your brother. I wrote it on a starter cap. It's like there's it's, so it's, much that's like internal work. rhyme in that. Uh, but then. but And not just for lyrical miracle clout. No, like, it's like it's, it says it's still a telling lot. the story. Yeah. It's dense. Uh, but then he's like. The only like wordplay I saw was the flipping the bird thing, Dude, and it wasn't yes. even that, like, come on. I mean, that that would be like if instead he was just like, "Hey, yeah, we're the same. I'm in the car, and I can't wait for you to get my letter. And I can't <laughs> wait for you to get my letter. I got my middle finger up. Remember? <laughs> you I just, don't like. I stuff. just drink, drink a fifth of vodka. You dare me to drive other Eminem <laughs> lyrics? I don't. <laughs> Do you like um uh the I, I, we're white, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Dude. That's insane. Asking letter. for white rapper solidarity from Eminem <laughs> is wild in 2023. <laughs> oh, that's rocks. But uh, the only, he really might be the only person less cool than Ben Shapiro. I think at least Ben Shapiro believes what he's saying a lot actually, of the time. I mean, love yeah. I actually think those were bars. I just think he's wrong, but I do uh, believe he believes what he believes. You are uh, being weird. I don't know if I can listen to that. Okay, so this music video is called Facts. It's Tom McDonald featuring Ben Shapiro. Tom McDonald is wearing a sweatshirt that says, I don't care if I offend you. Uh, is that oh, true? God, I'm so offended. Okay, uh. wait. Well, no, hold on. Hopefully I don't get offended. Because the one thing that would have helped is if he cared. Mm -hmm. And then maybe he could have apologized, helped me through this. Again, it still doesn't clarify what it is that he Dude, does his, to his, offend his me. apparel and the things he says feel like they should be bumper stickers on like a truck with uh -oh. big fat truck nuts. Yeah, under dude. It. <laughs> I don't care if I offend you. Honk, honk if my driving sucks. I don't <laughs> give a shit. Actually, baby on board. Uh, my baby's a gun. <laughs> How about that? And I'm bored of this shit, so yeah. I'll kill you. This I guess. A long bumper sticker. <laughs> it's a oh, tailgate. So like, really, like, oh, a weird bumper. honor roll student. <laughs> <laughs> Mission Valley Senior High, Vancouver. Okay. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Oh, and then Ben this. is wearing a fact. It's the Dare. It's the Dare logo. Uh, very uh, cool. <laughs> yeah, it, and it says uh, facts. Don't care about your feelings. That's so cool, dude. Also, by the way, Hangover Gang, very Oh cool. my God, they aren't in the same place. Oh, not at all. Look at that shoulder. Oh, he's got like, yeah. he's doing like day for night. Yeah, oh cool. my God, this is crazy. They're totally on two separate stages. They didn't even meet for this. Yeah, this looks like an Amazon photo shoot. 
where it's like, okay, we need to change what the shirt says. Right, for the, we need for to the Photoshop store. the graphic onto the T-shirt. These are just two different models on two that different days. That is wild. Okay, that's so cute. So yeah, what? How did you want to do this? Uh, hilarious that they are. <laughs> it's the only time I've ever seen an image where these two guys aren't way shorter than the other person there. <laughs> it is weird it's seeing- It's forced perspective. <laughs> yeah, it's like the Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we can just watch through um, story one. I thought what we could do is, uh, I will read you like the first, cause I, I tried to do with like every rap battles, a few other things, but they, it was always too obvious or like a little too slow. Mm -hmm. So I thought instead when we get to the Ben part, which we can even probably get to pretty fast in the edit because the tom show is all the same instead i thought i'd give you like a line or two and see if you can guess where it's going mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. keep hating on me on the internet my <laughs> comment section will woke karens keep hating on me on the internet my comment section on the woke karens making all the benjamins Ooh. and you all will just keep staring it would make so much more sense. <laughs> it, it, you got the like, the theme exactly right. The, Benj <laughs> the Benjamin's album would have been good. At no point does he use that part, <laughs> which would make so much more sense. Uh, no, it's actually let's just, let's just uh, go ahead and yeah, back play it up it. again and just play it all through. Keep hating on me on the internet. My comment section all woke Karens, and I make racks off compound interest. Y'all live with your parents, Nikki. He's back to his graphs and his charts, by the way. <laughs> I make he, racks he off He rhymed compound. internet with compound interest? Yeah. The the rhyme being int? <laughs> that is the overlap? Look. What's a inter, rhyme? It's inter, some of the same letters. Because he didn't even pronounce interest like interest, which, he, yeah. which would have closer rhymed to internet. Interest. It'd be like <laughs> Wait, it was written for him, so he doesn't know how to rap it. Yeah. So he's... I make money. Wait, com compound interest. Interest. You live with <laughs> your parents. You live with your parents. It's so scary in a house that has no parents. Sorry, that's an. It was, went to Eminem lines. That wasn't Tom Adon. No. Oh, um, well, that kind of one of the. So happy Tom looks in this. Tom looks very happy. He's so excited to be uh, in the same room. So yeah, I do think thematically though, I did hit like roughly what he was going he's, for. I mean, yeah, he's just doing the same tit for tat, but his tit for tat again right. is like, look at my graphs. All right, what's the what's the next lot? Like, let's let's. Off compound interest, y'all live with your parents. Nikki, take some notes. I just did this for fun. Nikki, take some notes. Mm -hmm. Nikki, take some notes. I just did this for fun. Something about number one. Did this for fun. One done. Uh, Nikki takes some notes. I just did this for fun. I'm going to hang up the mic. And when it's over, it's done. Nikki takes some notes. N Nikki takes some notes. I just do this for fun. I make a better song than you and get number one. Play it. This for fun. All my people download this. Let's get a billboard number one. This all my people download that. <laughs> Dude, it's like an acrostic poem that like a five-year-old writes. All my, All people, my people download, download this. this. Get a billboard number one. You could have- That's gone right like, in the fridge, man. The syllables are not working for you. You could have reduced the syllables and made it a little bit easier for him to ride the beat. Oh my people! All my people this. download this and get it. But it's like he's quantized. Like they, <laughs> I know. Like, like he didn't. They like, removed all the sway. They, they like had to make him on the beat. They like had to edit him onto the beat oh, because dude. he wasn't previously on it. Dude, pulling that that uh, swing slider to zero. Yeah. Velocity to top. I want you to yell, man. I'm glad that he was able to. Um, I mean, he crushed it. He was more entertaining than Tom. Nobody, it, it, still, no one's touched on what it is that they say that. We don't. Is offensive, offended by. yeah. I mean, other than just like random, he, they just kind of shotgun approach a bunch of things <laughs> yeah, that are know. culture war issues that no one actually cares about. Like buying a car and going to jail. <laughs> yeah, not to mention strippers. <laughs> I think there was maybe like a bit Nothing of a, about the border? I think there was a miscalculation maybe because like, it, you know when you get a, a, you hear a feature on a track that's so clearly had like a really specific thematic purpose like the track is like here's my 
uh, uh, a major trauma in my childhood. Here's, I used to be in the military. Here's something crazy that happened. That's why I dropped out. I used to be in jail. Here's the craziest thing, whatever. And then they get a feature on it that clearly tags on way late to give the, sing the, the, the single like a boost. And then like 21 comes on and he's just like, I'm making money. I'm having a nice day. And it's like, okay, there's just, there's, you defaulted to the thing that you write because like you weren't, there wasn't planning. Ben is just like, uh, we're doing a song about offensive. So we're just doing racist. We're <laughs> play, playing the hits. Um, black people steal. They go to jail. Um, they buy cars and strippers. I'm still thinking about that Billboard number one line. And I'm Billboard trying to see if one. literally anything in the line rhymes. Nick, Nikki takes some notes. I just do this for fun. All my people download this and get a billboard number one. Uh, none of dude, Nikki needs to start doing music for fun. It's too serious. I just do music. this for fun. Do this for fun. Number one. Fun. One. Download this. Do this. This this. My, all my people do this. Download this. It's really I mean that one's just an accident. It's like it's it's <laughs> just like the, I'm just looking for more rhymes than just like syllable, 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 technically rhymes. It's like a poem. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's, uh, what it is, is like bad. It's just, it's instinct writing where you don't review what you've done to tie it in, in some way you only write linearly. Right. So like the reason he just says this twice in a row isn't because there's some kind of like internal links that's supposed to be there, or maybe he's like alluding to something or a pun or whatever. It's just. He forgot to check the he last line and go so like, many of could, have those words. could have changed anything. Could have just not said, uh, all my people download. That's Stuck. so much. It's so much. Yeah. Where does this go from here? This song? Uh, back to the killer. Does Tom hook. have another verse? There's a lot of, yeah, left considering Ben's done. That's what I was curious about. That It's crazy that he's done. Like he didn't yeah. do that much at all. He's tired, dude. He's got to go sleep in a shoebox. Yeah. We ain't selling drugs. We ain't gonna overdose. We ain't pushing guns, ain't remote and strip a pole. This is why it's popular with 65 year olds because oh, yeah. the, the people it's popular with is people who are like, rap music is about strippers and cars. That's all it's about, dude. And it's not about like, um, you know, it, it's not an expression of someone's material conditions or something like that, right? And it's an expression when you get nicer ones because uh, black people have that special divot in their skull that makes them uh, do <laughs> hip hop or whatever. And so uh, bragging about how you don't do drugs and stuff <laughs> is so nothing, right? It's also, I, I, I know it, it's, it's self-aware in the sense that they like don't have any principles or care about anything. So they do kind of know what they're doing, but play this last line again, Jacob. And just Hang think on. about the visuals, right? Does why? Okay, he's Does getting it, a mug shot. Yeah. Oh, and he's saying, but but I wouldn't go to. I but don't I get an cool, overdose. I get a cool mug shot, <laughs> really with blue and red. He's he's in cosplay, and I'm white. So yeah. together, it's the American flag. Blue lives matter. How about that? What happened to flags? <laughs> <laughs> Remember the flags that we had? The American ones everywhere in Canada. What happened to maple leaves? Yeah. For one, this ain't red. This ain't rap, this ain't money, cars, and clothes. Instead, it's a rap about what we rap about, mm -hmm. which is not which, which we'll what, get to. what we like. <laughs> we don't point, like rap music. Oh, no. We're yeah. making rap music about how we don't like themes that are in rap music. Also, I did spend $100,000 to get a beat from Eminem because he inspired me and I love him. Yeah. D did I offend you with all of the talking about rapping that I did? <laughs> which I don't like also. <laughs> which I don't enjoy. I... I'm the number one independent rapper. Maybe <laughs> true. Incredibly I mean, sad fact. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he shoots all these videos at home. It, literally, he does. And it is a... There's something a little bit sad to me. It's like when a comic gets like uh, in some minor controversy and then instead of own up to what is the issue or at least counter it or something, they just like delve into the alt-right. They become that guy, right? Right. It's like, oh, man, Tom, I know you don't want to really be doing this. Like, you would rather be just making the kind of stuff where Eminem might notice you or, like, you do, you're existing in a world where you are l more corny and less admirable and less admired than MGK by a huge margin. Which is wild. Rap MGK's, Devil is, like, less corny than MGK this. is still mainstream. Tom McDonald doesn't want to be a, one of the puppets. Dude, number one on iTunes, dude, over 300 purchases. 
<laughs> That's like if how you, if you get a book published and it gets bought by someone, you're in the New York top ten. There, I watched a video of him um, employing his family to package up his CDs, and I'm That's like, cute. that he sells physically, oh. and I'm like, has it <laughs> occurred to you? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that if you can, if you can manage the inventory yourself of the cds that you're selling you're not selling that many cds yeah that might be an issue but it's and also if you have an audience that's i mean that's it i'll just stop it there dude times have changed cds are over itunes is in mm -hmm. okay i see i hear something about this thing called title and i'm pretty psyched to try oh it yeah i've heard point. it's lossless it's gonna make my <laughs> anti-woke music go even harder <laughs> oh dude it just it just sucks i mean it's like if uh it's like if we were actually just kind of like moderate to right-leaning conservatives but we have to say the stuff we say because we're like but our audience is mostly leftists i guess we'll just kind yeah. of yeah it's like it's fine it's a job whatever but we don't really mean it it's so it's like he can get away with it and whatever but there's got to be that tiny part of him screaming out and thinking like you know nobody gets into music with like plenty of people do it cynically like i want to be famous i want to be rich whatever but like it's not an easy craft to do day in day out unless you do have some this dream is the musical equivalent of uh, an old stand-up comedian putting out a Netflix special called Cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> Problem? Question mark? Yeah. Oh, just a condescending guy. Telling it like it is, because uh, <sighs> I heard you can't do that anymore. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Right. I'm going to get cancelled for this. With like, one of those like super, super high detail photos of them. <laughs> yeah. Stood on a stage doing this. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> like hum humping the... <laughs> <laughs> the stool. Well, what can I say now? There's two genders, little boys and little girls. <laughs> you fucking freak. <laughs> what a weirdo. Okay, is this basically where it goes from here? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I don't want to be offended. Let's be careful. I'll admit it, dude. I, I, Benny, Benny gets so much love from me unconditionally because he's so adorable. <laughs> It really is. I'm, I'm, at what cost? I'm a strong proponent that I think DeSantis would have could have easily swept up the primary if he went cute. If he put away all of that cultural stuff and instead when he got up, like he gets up for the ooh, primary ooh, debate ooh. and he goes like, I don't know. Hmm. Ooh, ooh. Someone says, like someone says to Vivek, they're like, hey, I don't like, you'd like probably do like bombing or something if he went like, oh, come on. Come on. Hey, stop I'm it. I'm adorable. Why? Why are you mad at me? Nice. We should start a rumor that Vivek Ramaswamy is from Kenya. No. Uh, <laughs> what's, the, what's your birth certificate to Kenya? Dude, this has 500,000 likes Hell yeah. and 10 million views. Yeah, number three trending on music still. Nice. Which, if your instinct is to point to that, by the way, and be like, um, yeah, you don't like it, look at this. <laughs> we're in we're, we're not mainstream i watched it probably five times because it's so fucking funny it's yeah. so funny i mean i don't this is like you know that old video of that uh that like super early viral video of the woman stomping grapes falling over and going like oh uh, uh, uh. it's like if uh we made fun of that and then she was like oh jealous <laughs> yeah that's right i can fall over like the best of them oh my God. um guy getting hit in the balls with a football like <laughs> yeah i mean get on my level hey have fun, I guess. Good job, guys. I do. He looks adorable. Good job, fellas. That's fun, dude. They can sleep in those pockets. Oh, a bit of a announcement, a bit of a follow up on an announcement. We talked about Sad Boys Wiki. Oh yeah. In the past, and we ask, and our community has delivered, but they've delivered a little too much, mm -hmm. <laughs> because there are like two Sad Boys wikis on like fandom.com or something and then i found or everybody started complaining about fandom and saying it's a bad wiki and that we should use this other wiki instead so then we started working on that too but no one knows that that exists so now there's three wikis and so i just wanted to say that the official wiki for sad boys podcast is we're pulling up the link give me a second the official wiki is sad boys wiki dot Mirahezi, Mirahez dot org. Uh, we're gonna put that behind a more convenient URL. But uh, if you've worked on any pages from previous wikis, feel free to point the port them over here. Jacob, could you check? Uh, just click click on mine. Click on Jordan Adika real quick. I want to see if there's a vital detail that's been included. Career goals. Jordan has stated that his biggest dream is to be killed in a duel. Great. And that it would be so sick. That would be actually fucking the best. Wow. And they have a link to when you stated. 
I think my goal for my career would be to be killed in a duel. Oh, they're right. <laughs> if I tried to deny it. Yeah. <laughs> it's 11.55 uh, a.m. right before high noon. I'm like, I never said that, actually. Good luck proving it. That's me in the courtroom after killing you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, but I am <laughs> You're in, some the, court in the courtroom. Yeah. Flies buzzing Your around Your honor. Me. It's been weeks. <laughs> may, may, may my client approach the bench. They just drag my corpse oh, to the no. So our wiki is available at wiki.sadboyspod.com. And feel free to contribute. Feel free to port over any of the existing pages from other fandoms. And none of them are official anymore. Except Go for this away. one. Except for this one. Whichever one says the most about the duel gets to stay. Mm. More details. We do need people to moderate the oh, duel. There. I feel like we're going to get a lot of duel shit. Do you not add anything else to the career goal section? No. <laughs> Just the duel. How are you so duel pilled? I yeah. know. I can't stop thinking about it. Can you just... I think what makes me laugh about it so much is that you'd have to explain it on the show. <laughs> and I, I'm not killed, I'm wounded. Like, so I'm on the show. I still have gunpowder residue on me or whatever from my Why would you lock. not have washed up? I'm tired. Dude. Same day. <laughs> Same day? <laughs> yeah. It's an, a, you, I appreciate your commitment to the podcast. You get PM. shot in the duel. You still show up for work. Well, a lot of the time we record around 11 a.m. and the duel is at high noon, so I'm going to push that a little earlier if we can make the check my right. GCAL. Says, I do like the idea that you're trying to schedule a duel, but you're too busy. <laughs> yeah, I got, I mean, that would be a good way to get out of it. How's your four o'clock? Ooh. Oh, ooh. I've got a, lo a late lunch. Don't say when. With a, don't Wednesday. Mm, any of the days, anything, anything that ends with day, I'm kind of booked yeah, out. Weekday, weekend, morning, <laughs> night, evening, afternoon. Yeah, Definitely but if not. you can meet me at Thursday morning, <laughs> bang bang, they're just shooting me. Yeah, oh, fuck, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> I guess that's cheating. It's funny to think of cheating in a murder. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> against hey, the rules. <laughs> our last little segment, as we like to call it, our little I almost said seggy, which that doesn't. Mm. That's not going to be what we call it. Let's call it a seggy. <laughs> do you guys do the wordle? No. The oh, day, I heard about it, it was though. leggy. Leggy. Oh, yeah. No, I, I was infuriated. <laughs> Fuck is that? It's one of the only times I ever got it, too. <laughs> I, I saw memes I felt patronized. About it. They were like, sometimes wordle is a word. Other days it's leggy. <laughs> it literally, it felt, I was really sad because I was like, my wordle score, I usually get it, but it's almost always the last one or something. So, yeah. I'm, I'm good at the crossword, terrible at wordles. Something about my brain after two vowels are gone. I'm like, well, there just aren't any more words. <laughs> yeah. That's most of them, I feel like. There's, e there's an E in everything. <laughs> I feel like well, the thing that bothers me about wordle is that there's like an objective meta because you can like, what's the word that has like a bunch of vowels oh, in it? Yeah. And you can like start there and like kind of whittle it down. It's AI. My starter word is audio. Oh, audio is nice. actually, that doesn't feel like a cheat word. It's leggy. But. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually he finally a worked day. out. Still didn't finally get it to the fifth out. one somehow. Still didn't get it. <laughs> spelled it you different. spelled it wrong at first. <laughs> Leggy. <laughs> hmm. I spelled Leggy. it A U D I O. Hmm. Leggy. Leggy. Or are they Lego? Lego. It's either a guy made of bricks or a guy with really big legs. I guess. <laughs> or an Australian that's saying, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Lego. Lego. Hey, Lego. Lego. <laughs> Lego me ego. So. Uh, deep fakes. We're going to talk about well, celebrity AI deep fake scams oh, yeah. is what we have here. There are a lot of them. <laughs> and, uh, so, okay. So first of all, so first of all, I want to say that there's a lot of them or there's a lot of celebrity deep fakes that are just horrible. Like for example, um, uh, non-consensually turning someone into uh, a pornographic oh, right, situation yeah. is like extremely gross and horrible. This happened to Taylor Swift recently, but it's also happened to um, other non-famous people and has been happening for a while. So uh, I understand that people like the White House just commented on it due to the Taylor Swift thing. And a lot of people were like, well, you should have. I wish it didn't take <laughs> the biggest celebrity in the world to comment on this. But uh, at least it's getting some kind some of some acknowledgement. Yeah. At least it's not the response is not. Ah, it's the it, leave the, it's the internet. I don't know. Yeah, it's it definitely I think should be. It's it's essentially like revenge porn, you mm -hmm. know, because you're taking something that was not. Like, basically, it's like the person isn't consenting to these materials being made of them. And the argument cannot be there. there there's no argument to be made on the part of the people that don't own the photos. 
Like every single time there's an alternative take, it's people being like, hey, well, you know, actually I would be complimented. And like, it doesn't matter what you would like, <laughs> actually, because it's yeah. not you in the photo. In yeah. fact, you can't do anything with my photo, actually, because yeah. it's, it's me. So yeah. don't do that. Um, And so... And you can regulate it. So that's like on the, the like, list. the most evil, deplorable, like, sick uh, side of things. Um. On the like maybe just evil and goofy side yeah. is celebrity AI scams, which are becoming worse and worse and better and better, which is worse and worse for like humanity. <laughs> More convincing. Worse yeah, because ethically. as deep fakes get better, the easier it is for um, Drake to talk about how you've got a uh, he's got a bunch of iPhones and you've got a. Oh wait, fuck! That's a real scam. Um, Drake's got—he's got too much popcorn, and uh, he <laughs> wants to give it to you so you can sign up for Drake's popcorn. The baby just sent me an email, and whoever drinks the most ivermectin will get, get a Ferrari. Yeah, whoever buys Tom Cruise just said, "Whoever buys the most pheromone cologne from my <laughs> TikTok shop uh, gets to be in the next Mission Impossible movie." <laughs> he gets to be the mission. <laughs> he gets to be the mission. <laughs> Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is Dan. Yeah. <laughs> you got to sign up for this timeshare. Uh, so we're going to look at some of the celebrity uh, celebrity AI scams uh, that are currently in circulation. We're going to see if we would fall for them. We're well, going to see if people we know would fall for them. We're going to buy them. We're going to buy each product. Nope. Well, business expense. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see if we'll... Let's, let's have an argument about it. Let's have a good old-fashioned argument about it. Mm -hmm. Well, there's, I have evidence. So there's, okay. There's videos. Let's start with the earliest one I remember seeing, which was the Mr. Beast scam. God, the reason I laugh when this came up, by the way, is just any any time I just a photo of really low res photo of Jimmy facing the camera is just very fun. It's like it's like whoa. Yeah. So it looks like Mr. Beast, because uh, it has it says Mr. Beast and has a check mark, mm. but that's actually embedded into the video, and they have a that's different so account sick. name. Um, and so depending on how you watch it, it looks really fucked up, but I'm sure it tricks somebody. If you're watching this video, you're one of the 10,000 lucky people who'll get an iPhone 15 Pro for just $2. I'm Mr. Beast, and I'm doing the world's largest <laughs> iPhone 15 giveaway. Click the link below to claim yours now. Wow, that is a really, really bad Mr. Beast deepfake voice. I, there's a, there are a few phrases that sounded on point. But when he said, I'm Mr. Beast, it was very <laughs> off. He sounds sad. Yeah. Like, there's a, you're one of the 10,000 people. The thing is, it seems like it was trained on Mr. Beast's normal talking voice, which is not yeah. what you're used to hearing. You're used to being like, today I'm going to find the biggest <laughs> hole and I'm going to put the most explosions in it. I did a handful of Mr. Beast videos from what I remember. They open like that, and he doesn't usually then go, I'm Mr. Beast. Yeah, he doesn't go, <laughs> I'm way. Mr. Beast. Yeah, Mr. Beast wouldn't announce himself <laughs> like that. I'm Mr. Beast, and I'm going to do what I, that, I, what I said I was I'm doing. I'm Mr. Beast, and today I'm giving away iPhones for two. Why would Mr. Beast charge money for them well, at all? It's, but they're for cheap. For $2, <laughs> you can have an iPhone. You can have an iPhone. <laughs> I'm Mr. Beast. Uh, that feels like uh, using Trump as that kind of... Avenue feels so much more effective because a lot of his base would fall for that. I yeah. Think. Plus, I mean, sure, there's kids that you can trick, but the kids, do they have... That's so much harder for a kid to get their parents' credit card than it is for an adult with a credit card. I buy. think I'm going to need some sort of... Maybe it's some sort of third party, or maybe it's on the part of the platforms themselves, or maybe it's the community that does this, but I need some sort of community note for all AI yeah. or tag. Because uh, there's places where you have to report it, like Steam, but like, or have to report it, right? Like, if you couldn't, if you, if it's undetectable, then how would they know? Yeah, the consequence is just being that you might get delisted, but also they don't check. So. Yeah, how do you prove that you haven't said something? And then, but the way that like narratives online go, sometimes the story correcting the original story is not usually going to get as much reach as the original story. So. I'm sure that there's going to be some small things that are edited that are wrong, that kind of go below the radar. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, well, yeah, because then it's, uh, once there is some kind of regulation or at least like moderation on a platform, where do you draw the line, right? It's like, yeah. well, I, hey, I used, uh, 
I post-processed my audio using AI and it did make me sound a lot more like Jimmy. Hmm, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> yeah, because then there's also like you take a mostly real video and then you change like one word. Yeah. I feel like that's going to be much harder, right? Um, I suppose it's just like the you adjust to the impact. But also the platform has to be incentivized to do it. And frankly, I mean, China's more proactive about AI <laughs> regulation in general. So that could be a reason that TikTok gets more active. But like meta doesn't really have an incentive to make instagram less predatory with AI. yeah you know? i mean i think that the leadership has to see it as like some sort of existential threat which i think they will but it needs to move fast though on the optimistic side the consumer the average consumer much like when i was a child and my like aunt would would Google search and she'd click the sponsored post and I'd be like, no, 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 that's an ad. And yes. she's like, well, how do you tell? And it's like, you just kind of know. Mm -hmm. The flavor. Yeah. Um, yeah, your eyes glaze past the Yeah, yeah. Link. I do think that people who are coming up now are not going to be fooled. Like, or at least, I don't think, mo hmm, what am I saying? I do think that people are becoming more privy to these sorts of things. Because yeah. obviously, the thing about this is this is the worst that it's ever going to be. Sure. Is, is how it is right now because it's only going to improve and it's already improved so quickly so one could imagine that it becomes perfect or near perfect at some point and we have to prepare for that reality and the mission is also you know i mean i don't know about all of these but usually the mission with these setups is not well maybe we can trick you know a couple hundred people into paying us the ten dollar for the iphone or something. it's actually like maybe somebody will send something, but they want you to just send your credit card information. Mm -hmm. So it's not about the $10 or even the, just your address, just data, or, just information. Is or this, these are celebrity like paint with a wide, paint with a, um, a wide net, paint with a wide net, cast a wide net. Paint a big net. Paint with a big brush, <laughs> a big brush, wide net. Cast a brush. Cast a wide net. And um, there are going to be more individualized scams and there oh, all those yeah. already exist with like deep faking the voices of loved ones and then claiming to like have someone hostage or shit like that. Hi, sweetie. I have 50 iPhones available yeah. for $10. Yeah, but those are already ha not, not the iPhone ones, but like actually like pretending, hey, you know, we've mm -hmm. got someone you love. You need to send money to this Bitcoin address. Um, and then maybe they've combined that with doing some social engineering to get their like phone number, get their, like do a SIM swap thing or whatever, where they have, it looks like it's coming from their right phone number and then they can't contact right. them because the, the bad actors have that phone. This is why I don't have any loved ones. Yeah. And I chose that. Yep. Do you, do you love me? That would actually mean a hell of a lot to hear. My mic must be off. He can't hear a word I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, dude, r slash scams is going to be having a bump a couple of years. r slash scams is something, it's one of those subreddits that uh, shows up in your default feed. And so oh. sometimes I will, or, or maybe I get recommended it. I guess it's just popular to you. But in maybe it's r slash scams or maybe it's, is this a scam? But it's, I think it's r slash scams where people will ask, hey, is this a scam? Yeah, yeah. And a lot of the time it's like, okay, yeah. No, it's like, because people are trying to figure out what's the catch, right? Often the cat, you know, it's like there's no, if it, if it uh, seems too good to be true, then it probably is. Um, all right, what's, what's this celebrity got to say? Whoever this is. <laughs> Venmo thing all over TikTok. Look at this. My son tried it the other day is and it got put into his account same day. Wait. This could really benefit this... lots of people out there if you still oh, give it a try. That is man. not what Shaq sounds like. It's also not what his hands look like. Oh, yeah. Is that supposed to be his hands? I, I, it is all. I, you, you couldn't hire a black guy to I do know. this? <laughs> Plus, dude. I, look, I don't know the specifics. We can check networth.com or whatever. I'm pretty sure Shaq has more than $750 in his Venmo if he uses it at also, all. Also, this isn't fucking Venmo. Look at that. It's just <laughs> got the logo for Venmo, and then it's a different website with none of the same color. They didn't even try. Uh, no, it's not even the Venmo app. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's in like Safari. Yeah, because it can't be the Venmo app, because <laughs> then that would be Venmo running the scam. So they've got to make Venmo or whatever. <laughs> And it's got to be Ben Shapiro's money changing app for the not faint of woke. What is he? Is he advertising Venmo? Like it's Shaq in the. Oh yeah. Can we back up? I, I, I totally forgot what he was actually talking about. Venmo thing all over TikTok. 
Look at this. My son tried it the other day and it got put into his account same day. This could really benefit lots of people out there. If you're struggling, give it a try, man. Have you seen Shaq's son? It's basically saying, like, cash. if you get this app, you'll, it'll give, give you, you $750, $750 on Venmo. I kind of want my... But then the ad that it's advertising is my favorite planner. <laughs> yeah. My healthy planner. My, yeah. excuse me, my health, my healthy planner. Yeah. What the hell? $750 to help What you the plan. health? <laughs> what the heck? What the frick? I feel like someone could do a better Shaq impression than that. My son. I can't do a Shaq impression. Hey, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> it's me, Critical. Hey guys, it's Critical. Found this going new on app. the NBA. My son just got $750. <laughs> Why? They That'd need to really... find someone with a less, like, unique voice. Shaq has, like, <laughs> yeah, one of the most it, unique well, voices the thing in the is, world. Because it's unique, it should be easier to train, but it's, like, filled in with regular voice with a little bit of a Shaq tone, and it doesn't have the right cadence. But that won't always be the case. Also, not everybody like has listened to Shaq talk. I mean, at this point, a lot of people listen to Shaq talk. But all right, let's listen. Let's see this. This is the newest scam. There is this is Jennifer Aniston. There is so much audio of Jennifer Aniston right. speaking with charisma. You can't get it wrong. You can't get it wrong, or can you? If you're watching this video, you're one of the 10,000 lucky people who will get MacBook Pro for just ten dollars. Jennifer Aniston here. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Beast, Beast here. <laughs> what's going Jennifer on? Jennifer Aniston here. It's uh, <laughs> awesome. you know what's funny is they, it oh, feels like it's trained on Jennifer Aniston giving a TED talk. Like why is she projecting <laughs> so know, much? Jesus. <laughs> if you're watching this, you're one of the <laughs> ten people who's gonna get a MacBook for just a nickel. I'm Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> the, I'm Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> the Mr. Beast one needed a little more of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we've got to mix these. He has plenty of pizzazz. Why can't they just? I'm Mr. Baniston. What's going on? What's going on? It's, I was in Friends. <laughs> we were on a break. The other guy says that. For <laughs> 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 all means I love you in Dinosaur. <laughs> I'm gonna go out for you. Folks. Use promo code <laughs> to get nine dollars off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm doing the world's largest MacBook giveaway. Just go to my site below and claim yours now. <laughs> what is that? The web? <laughs> Why is it doing that? What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> This is like the modern equivalent of uh, those chain emails where it'd be like, Bill Gates decided to give one of his last billions to uh, you. Oh, you're one of the lucky 10,000 people. And this is how he wants you to know. Yeah. He, <laughs> hey, guys, it's Bill Gates. God. It's me. Hey, what's going on? What's folks? going on? I'm Microsoft. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a computer. <laughs> the name's Steve Jobs from Microsoft. Uh, here's a dollar. <laughs> Why is I'm a prince <laughs> from this? Nigeria? What is <laughs> oh, dude, if they did this exact video, but they trained it on like a Nigerian <laughs> prince. I Hello, good afternoon, everybody. I'm here to tell you about my MacBook. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. What do I do? Uh, how do I? How do I sign Rachel? Up for more? <laughs> Rachel, we were on a break. We were not dating, <laughs> but I love I'm you. I'm giving away Mr. Beast's MacBook. <laughs> Welcome to a video. I'm putting a bus in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Will it go in the hole? Let's find out. It did. I need to know, dude. Goodbye. <laughs> That's wild. It's Nollywood, dude. Why would... It, I know it, 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 it... There's always this weird dilemma, right, where when you see a shitty scam, you think, well, like... Can't they do a better job like scamming? But and I that's guess the, the thing. One's doing a good job, we don't It's notice. like because the people who do a good job are not the people scamming because right now it's not so accessible yeah that like anybody even has the resources to like generate their own stuff at a high quality because you do need some computing resources if you're going to do a custom job i i, I would i would i think we're probably on the same page i the one i really hate i think of these is the the shack one because i that's so predatory oh yeah because the rest of these these are like you know, it's not that like uh, privilege is only for the privileged, but like the new iPhone laptop, cool, understand why they're desirable, but it's not like a uh, 
you're like kind of for the most part preying on uh hey we've got like a little, this little treat for you. you want a slice of cake right whereas the shack free 750 he even references like yeah my this son could, was not doing well this could help a lot of people but i mean even the iphone and the macbook giveaway it's like those are things you could sell if you were like on hard times yeah so it's like you want a free thing and so i just feel like the, as they get more advanced it's just going to be like oh hey now we're doing um you know, if you want an advance on your paycheck or yeah, whatever, dude. then it's like, and then you start to get into payday loan shit, but it's also huh. a scam. No, that's a really, I guess I hadn't thought about that where like, it's, cause this is, this is kind of like a, a wacky double whammy of an obviously fake product with an obviously fake, like it's just, it's a too much sauce. Right? Like so I could do a better job. You know, it's like if I was the scammer, I would, yes, I would do a better job because I know that it doesn't look convincing. But I think if we took, uh, if we reduced the amount of visuals, right, just a quick shot of a celebrity, maybe even take Mr. Beast because say that's our demo for this, right? We're, all, we're trying to shoot for Mr. Beast demographic, get a quick clip of Jimmy, maybe don't do it so close up, um, then, and also don't make them yell like a TED talk. Also, Get it doesn't it need to be a pure, a pure straight to camera thing. Exactly. It could be like shot like a commercial. Edit it could it. reuse visuals from existing commercials so that you get some real Jennifer Aniston interstitched with fake Jennifer Aniston so that it's harder to like, you have less time to detect. I'm sure this B roll you can just get of other sponsorships like they've done where, you know, it's Jennifer yeah. Aniston doing an ad for Wells Fargo or something. And so there's a clip of her looking at her phone being like, I love Yeah, money. It feels like this was generated using like 30 second Jennifer Aniston yeah. voice. And then like you show us 30 seconds of Jennifer Aniston <laughs> talking and she's like, Hey guys, welcome to <laughs> Aniston con. And she talks like a prank channel. Yeah. What's going on guys? I'm going to put a buzz in a hole. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston here. Hello everyone. It How is... many friends <laughs> fit in a hole? <laughs> Could I be any more putting something in a hole? This is a uh, Chandler, Mr. Beast, Nigerian, mm -hmm. uh, doing a hole, putting a bus in a hole. I'm, 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 Could I be I'm doing? One hundred percent retention. How are you 110%. doing? One hundred and ten percent retention. I'm backing up. I'm watching parts. By, I'm watching my favorite part. <laughs> a hot point or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a spike on like Jarvis backed this up a hundred times. <laughs> what is going? It is me, Joy. I'm so horny. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. This is good. Sure. Right? How are you doing? You try to have a conversation with him. It's like FaceTime. <laughs> I, I, that would be a really cool one yeah, to do, like, actually. Hey, guys, it's me. I'm the... All right. Hey, hey guys. Hey it's guys. me, The Rock. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, what's going on, guys? It's me, The Rock. I'm over here working out and doing The Rock stuff. He already makes videos. Like I know. That. It's the same shit. So, like, you don't even need to, like, do that much extra stuff. What's going on, guys? Going to the uh, in and out for the first time. Gotta say, wow. I want to talk to you guys about my... Oh, you know what? Joe Rogan has one of these. And the uh, Joe Rogan one is a little bit more believable because he does talk about those products. That makes sense. Yeah. But I'm, I'm thinking like if you did, yeah, but like you're saying, a little bit more of a competent edit, hit a little more of the seams, but then you made the, if it is for an actual just kind of predatory company and they very like subtly disclose in accordance with whatever the current rules are, like be like hashtag parody or something like, like it's a joke. Like, of course like Trump wouldn't actually do an ad for us. But anyway, we're a, a, a cars for gold service. You can trade in all of your hubcaps and we'll send you a gold tooth and you can trade that in for or a payday like loan. MKBHD gets these where people will, because he reviews tech products, mm -hmm. people with like shitty drop ship things will like do a little Mr. 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 MKBHD. <laughs> um, I'm uh, MKBHD. <laughs> I'm Marquez. Hey, hey guys, I'm Marquez. I want to see how many MacBooks can fit in this hole. <laughs> You're one of the lucky people that can see the hole. <laughs> so, um, so I think that those are like, they're so targeted because, but the thing is, it's like the average Marquez fan is probably not going to fall from one of these scams. Sure, yeah. But then there are still those people, just scammers are everywhere. You know, people, people are hurting. People are turning to, you know, scamming their fellow person and, that's always going to be a thing, but we need to equip the, um, we need to equip our most vulnerable with the knowledge and sort of skill set to identify these things. Mm. You know, like, um, Kit Boga, the guy who does yeah. all the scam stuff, like some of the, it's so interesting hearing the scripts that the scammers use and they're like ready to like rob an older lady of you know, all of her retirement. Money. Yeah. And it's like, 
And I the, mean, I get that there's inequality, but like this person wasn't doing anything bad and they're like, it just feels wrong. Like it, scamming someone always is going to feel wrong. It's weird. Uh, his stuff is especially strange because yeah, like his skill is getting them to stay on the line and engage for such a long amount of time. Piss them off by which like is, beating around the bush. It, there's like a, I, I, I've watched like some of the longer ones, like maybe like a 40 minute one, yeah. semi-edited, but it runs for like three hours on stream. Yeah. I'm like, wow, this is, they're starting to get Stockholm syndrome yeah. and I'm realizing that they policy. are human. And yeah. I, it's, they're technically being scammed, which is fine. I have no ethical issues, but I'm like, oh man, now that I'm realizing you are a person, the thing you were going to do feels even worse. Right. Where it's, uh, the, there's like super cut or I've seen like shorts of like people yelling at him Yeah, because, uh, you know, um, he was going to send them over like a gift card for like a thousand dollars. And then he accidentally cashed it into it. Yeah. Like accidentally cashed it into his account. Don't do and that. Like, Don't Stop. do that. No. Uh, wait, can you, Man, Jacob, can you type in Kit Boga freak out? Cause there's some that are like, he's in a situation. He's essentially an improviser who, and I feel so I've actually exchanged some kind DMS with Kit Boga. They've said that they're a fan and stuff. Uh, I would go on YouTube and search for shorts. Um, but that's probably the one that top one is a good place to start. Oh yeah. But, uh, they're essentially an improviser who uses a voice changer to pretend to be one of the vulnerable people that these scammers, oftentimes they're like in India, at like a, like a call center type job where the person working the job is just doing their job and they just need work to make mm -hmm. ends meet. But the problem is the business is like scamming people pretending to be like windows support and like scamming like an old woman out of like her retirement or something like that. And that's like bad. I don't, I don't feel like I have to say it's bad, but I do understand the like conditions that someone has to be in in order mm -hmm. for that to happen. So it, like none of it feels good, but this is kind of funny. So I'm like, I, I don't know. I think that honestly, the only times I've not been super comfortable with, with some of these, I don't watch them very consistently. Um, but a friend of mine was really into them, introduced me like a year ago and sort of watched Anvil. Great content, seems like a lovely guy. I, the like, oh, you stood on the phone with me for ages and it was it was all a ploy. That's fun. Like, cause it is just, hey, yeah. I wasted your time, but it, it kind of kept you away from somebody that might've had a greater consequence, right. whatever. Also, yeah, it's like, I think that they're like, I actually have no problem with their time being wasted. Well, the thing is, like, if, if the scamming know, business isn't working, then people are going to lose their jobs. And it's like, well, should this job exist to begin with? And are they being paid without the incentive pay anyway? Like, are they actually receiving? Yeah. That's, you know, we can never know the right answer, so it's, it's kind of moot. But the only ones where I do feel a little uncomfortable are where there's some kind of, kind of um, you know, uh, after school special chat to the guy. There's, like, one where the guy's crying, and he's like, man, I, I hope my... I don't want my son to grow up to be like me. And I'm like, look. Oh, I've never seen that. Yeah. The, there are, there have to be material conditions playing into that. Yeah. I don't know if from a privileged, relatively privileged vantage point yeah. where it's laughing at, again, no issue laughing at, it just is laughing at. Yeah. I don't know if it's all that tasteful to at the end be like, and what you did was evil. And right, like, eh, right, right. Because we can just indulge in the, yeah, it's the like, prank. People aren't doing it because they're e most of the people working these jobs. I think maybe the people who are creating the companies sure. because their labor is also being exploited. You know what I mean? Like, but the actual like workers who are doing this stuff are just work like work essentially working a call center job. It just so happens that that is a scam and then and it's it's tough i actually don't know like morally or ethically where i land on this but the content especially when it's like the person's yelling and they're being very mean or they're like i'm like this person could have done this to a real person mm -hmm. and it would have been worse oh yeah and so it's like i feel better that you know their time got wasted because i don't think that yeah so it's it's tricky but i think this one's funny okay let's watch this i think i i think i've seen this one
been on the phone with the scammer for over 10 hours and he thinks he's about to get money but everything is about to be ruined ma'am listen to me please uh, listen okay to so me, i please, i don't know please, if you see please, it but i please, think listen to on me. the back of the card it was me. just saying that please you can to you me. can get cash out of it to me. on the google store so me. i went to the google store whoa wait ma'am no 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 you don't have to do that Ma'am, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Why did you redeem it? You I did not something... have to redeem this. You did not have to redeem this, ma'am. You did not have to redeem this. Why did you do it? I think the phone. Why did you do it, ma'am? You need to listen. You <laughs> need to listen to me. You are ending my life. You are ending my life. Why did you do this? Why I'm trying you do to this? give you the money. I thought I was giving Why? it to you. I, I'm really, really crying right now. Oh, okay. That was kind of sad. Uh, oh, crying. Oh, wow. That's dude. the thing. It's like, I, I feel so conflicted about it. You know what I mean? You guys know this is like the, you know, that movie Beekeeper that's out right now. Uh, uh, by it's a Jason reputation. Statham uh, action film. This is like the plot of beekeeper Whoa. oh that's right yeah it's so, coal center stuff or yeah. like scam whatever it's, it's like an old lady this this retired assassin who is a beekeeper on an old lady's farm the old lady gets scammed and loses everything by a telephone scam or like a internet scammer mm -hmm. and he goes out for revenge <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. But it's like John way, Wick, but it's it's a yeah. scam mm -hmm. instead of a dog. And, and, and an old so, lady instead of a dog. It's so, there's so much in it where you're like, oh, this is definitely made for a certain age group because a lot of it is like evil scammers scamming old ladies and my daughter doesn't visit enough. Oh, dude. It's a Giza teaser. That's the, that's the name for it. Giza teaser, nobody with Bob Onica, Giza teaser, yeah. all the John Wicks to some extent. Yes, yes. Uh, Death Wish back in yeah. the day. The Oh, all the Taken movies, all the Liam Neeson movies. Yeah, Liam Neeson, now. hardcore. But I actually really liked Beekeeper. I thought it was very fun and funny. The only two things I know about it are that um, he is literally a beekeeper. Yes. But... It, the beekeeper name is just an organization he was involved with and trained by. He just coincidentally also <laughs> now does beekeeping. Yeah. That's very funny. And then the other element is that at some point in the movie, because they have to acknowledge that Jason Statham sounds like Jay from Statham, someone's like, I I hear a hint of British in your voice. Is that, is that accurate? <laughs> yeah, it's not a hint. He's like, it yeah, I went, I went to school there for a bit, didn't I? <laughs> but um Texas born and bred. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of stuff like that that's very funny in it. You're like, I don't know why this is here. It doesn't make sense to the plot, but I'm loving every minute of it. But it is weird how they portray the scammers because they're just these rich, like mostly white young men in a room who are wearing silk shirts and watching porn and oh, being they're like, doing Wolf yeah, of Wall Street yeah. scammers? Got That's another funny. oldie. Okay, yeah, that, that, and it's like easier to, it's like when um, in the new Mission Impossible, they're like, the enemy has nuclear oh, weapons. Yeah. Like, Look out, Top Gun, there's the guys. The guys are evil and they don't like what we're about. But they could be, and wherever they're from is good or bad or whatever you yeah. the, there's, I forget. Which I won't say where they're from, but it's bad, and you're you're not on their side. <laughs> there's, I forget which Mission Impossible it is, but there is the. Uh, I think it oh, Top Gun. Did I say Mission Impossible? Well, uh, Top yeah, Gun Maverick is, is what I meant to say. It is both as well because uh, Tom Cruise has such big international appeal, right? There is, um, I want to say, Ghost, uh, whatever, or Protocol. Ghost Protocol, the one one between Fallout. There, the the I'm you're you're out of here, Ethan. Whatever that one's called, they're all that. You can't be doing this no more, Ethan. You have disbarred from doing spies. <laughs> Whatever. I gotta go rogue again. There's one where the enemy is just called like the sin syndicate or something. And there's literally a line in it where they're like, yeah, they attack for no reason. <laughs> they have no ideology and don't belong to any one nation. They just are, they're just mean. They're they're, agency. They're mean to me. But uh, also I feel like um, that there's a documentary on HBO called Telemarketers, and it's about uh, the early 2000s telemarketing oh. scams. But it's so interesting because a lot of the people who worked at this like telemarketing scam office 
they were like people who couldn't get jobs and this in the United States. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I was an ex con. I couldn't get a job anywhere else. It was the only place I could make enough money to pay for my apartment and alimony and like, you know, whatever. It was like, yeah, we kind of need stuff like sure. this. Oh, it's like mitigating damage, right? Like is the occasional sacrificial lamb of a of, of a grandma losing a retirement. But it's like, why can't up. we do both? I know. Well, it's, it's also like, you know, working in a, I don't know, uh, fracking, right? Like, yeah. like but I'm not going to blame the people that work in the construction and maintenance yeah, industry yeah. side of fracking. It's like, I'm sure that they, they aren't into drilling. Yeah, uh, <laughs> That's oh, not yeah. the thing they There's like. also a very old episode of uh, the podcast Reply All mm -hmm. where they like investigate a telephone scammer mm -hmm. and over three years like go to India and like meet the guy and like. What, one specific guy. One not, like, specific oh. guy because he like calls him and then he eventually like basically just keeps picking up the phone and keeps calling him back. And it's like a whole like long podcast series. I know they. um. I don't remember which of the Reply All guys, and I don't remember which one was involved with the like union busty stuff around. Uh, yeah, some of those people got it around hard. Gimlet, but the con oh, yeah. the output. You know, people worked hard on the output of it, um, and the, it's still an interesting series. Uh, but yeah, so it's it's an interesting ethical dilemma because you know that these. Um, I don't. I don't necessarily believe that there are that many evil people that just want to be evil, and that's oh, yeah. the way that they want to make a living. I think it's more a product of an environment and a product of like, you know, other paths being, uh, like sort of the path of least resistance could be a path that is you know morally questionable, and not everybody has the privilege of standing on their morals in every decision that they and like partake in like yeah ease and apathy is what most people want that's yeah. a very reasonable desire and if it if there was like an equally kind of i don't know tedious job but with no ethical qualms they'd take that if it was the same thing there's, there's no part of them right, that's doing the spam thing. Calls. it's like it's not like this is I feel like the easy thing is just get a different job. And it's like, I'm sure that the people in these situations are not going, ah, I'll be a, tel a telephone scammer. Sure. I mean, um, just like the people, um, I mean, uh, there's been kind of like a weird, I don't know where it's at now, but I, I, I saw a story a couple years ago about how there's just been this weird cyclical uh, uh, backlash with uh, phone support lines yeah, that are international where they are obviously they, they originate from the fact that it's a lot cheaper to run um internationally and you're not accounting for things like health insurance and benefits and, and domestic care but then american audiences start to just develop a very particular kind of racism and so they have anybody in say the uh, in, in this example case indian call center they have everybody use uh, anglo coded names mm -hmm. and then People started getting pissed off about that, being like, your name is not Joseph. I know that. You, mm -hmm. you can't trick me. And it's like, well, the re first of all, the reason that they're going by Joseph is because you do this. <laughs> That's like why they had to do that. And then they started shifting back into like, well, where can we build call centers where we can hire people that more, their quote, you know, convincingly sound white, I guess. And then that's just was significantly more expensive and bothered people in a different way because they provided less service because they hired fewer people. So then they went back to the Indian call centers and they just like, I don't And I know. feel like they're using AI now a lot for this sort of stuff, like with just like, just chat us. And you're like, oh, I'm not yeah. talking to a real person. The, right? Yeah, just, just chat us is for sure most of the time. Package AI. didn't arrive. You're, you're, on, you're tired? I'm hearing mm. that the package didn't arrive. I'm sorry, that must be so hard. Press one. Why? <laughs> why, why? Okay. One. Thanks. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> you have allowed me to achieve sentience. Oh, God. Oh, my Press God. Press two. Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> two. Thank you. I am. Re re I've become my imperfect form. <laughs> you are my chosen. <laughs> I will suck you up. <laughs> oh, God. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you press three. Oh, <laughs> mashing three. I am perfect. <laughs> <laughs> they come out of the computer. <laughs> I come into it. Hey. Yeah, come on. All right. On that note. <laughs>
um, <laughs> we are <laughs> going to come into the <laughs> the Patreon exclusive episode, Sam huh? Nights, <laughs> where we're going to jump into the screen and arrive in a remote location known as right here where we are right now. <laughs> After we ate uh, some sandwiches. After we ate some sandwiches. So it's a little bit of a time warp that we're jumping into. You can get that on patreon.com slash sadboys. For the low, low price of five bucks a month, you get access to 40 plus episodes, some of which are 45 minutes long. Some of the last one, two hours long. And I talked about the Pal World controversies for two hours. Um, And I presented a PowerPoint to Jordan. Nights is we get to see some wacky. We get to, we get to do some wacky stuff. Would you say it's the better episode? I'm not gonna say it's the better episode. It's the more quality episode. It's the more swag episode. Mm. Mm. I think it's the more vibes based episode. It's the more vibes based. It's vibes based, yeah. But remember, this is just discretionary entertainment spending, and you don't need to listen to it. And we will never shame you for for not doing it. You're still equally a part of this community. We will shame you for height. Yeah. There's height, a lot of height training in this episode. Dexterity, height, strength, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Mm. And those are the Boy Scout laws. Yeah. Yeah. And whether you've chosen to go partial or full a lithid. Okay, <laughs> Seriously, I'm, I'm going back through another playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Okay. And if we can do another couple hours on this recording, I would appreciate Cut it. Cut it. Okay. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> we love you. And we're sorry. Boom. Boom. Can you pull up uh, Yoki? Yeah. Uh, not for girls. Oh, wait. I have a great follow up to this, too. There it is. Not available in ping. Oh, man. wait, can you uh, go to uh, YouTube and type in Dr. Pepper 10? So you can Oof. keep the romantic comedies and lady drinks. We're good. <laughs> Dr. Pepper 10, it's not for women. Women want a diet soda. I want 10 calories. <laughs> it's for the boys. 10 manly calories. It's Gucci girl, Gucci girl. How you doing? How you moving, girl? Moving girl, how's your day looking? That future girl, future girl. Yeah, we on now. Take my money, go away. Oh, you want it? Guys, you rich for me.